Like with most fandoms, the most common ways for furries to meet one another are through meetups and conventions. The terms meet and con are often used as shortened versions of those terms respectively. And sometimes they're also known in the fandom as fur meets and fur cons. Whilst there can be similarities between the two, there are differences. Fur meets tend to be smaller, usually less than 100 attendees, last no longer than a day, and take place at a smaller venue such as a bar or bowling alley. Fur cons, on the other hand, tend to be larger, last multiple days, typically Friday morning through a Sunday afternoon, and take place at larger venues with nearby accommodation, such as a hotel. Fur cons also include a variety of activities and entertainment, such as market stalls, panels, performances, and various fursuit-related events, such as parades. Some conventions are also themed each year, and most will have a guest of honor, who is usually either a popular furry or someone not part of the fandom, but influential nonetheless. Most furry conventions started off as fur meets before expanding in popularity. Because most furries converse with each other online on a weekly basis, most of those who attend meetups only do so infrequently. By contrast, 53% of furries attend at least one convention each year. Most of their names include the words fur, furry, anthro, or fuzz, although there are notable exceptions. Conference is often regarded as the first ever official furry convention. The first conference, known as Conference Zero, was held in 1989 and only had 65 attendees. Anthrocon was the most attended convention for 17 years. However, as of 2017, Midwest Fur Fest has surpassed Anthrocon as the most attended convention. Outside of the USA, Eurofurance in Berlin is the largest furry convention. Most conventions ask for attendees to wear branded name badges given to them when they arrive. There's also the so-called 6-2-1 rule in the fandom, which means one should have at least six hours of sleep, two filling meals, and one shower each day. Fursuiters are recommended to increase that to two showers each day, one before getting into suit and one afterwards. Most conventions have similar codes of conduct, including not carrying real and or lifelike weapons, wearing appropriate clothing for public spaces, not touching other people without informed consent, conforming to the rules of the venue, and being generally polite to fellow attendees, volunteers, and staff. Like many mass meet events, meetups and conventions have had to either be postponed or go virtual during the COVID-19 pandemic. It will take time for them to be the same as they were pre-COVID, but when they are, we'll be more grateful for them than ever.